Good morning, Jim Sunderworth here from my swing here in my house. Good to see you today. Uh, we've been talking about a Nazarite vow we talked about last thing yesterday was Samson. Samson who uh, didn't really, I don't think he really took it serious. He kind of played with his gifts and he kind of just, uh, instead of being a conqueror of the enemy, he was a nuisance to them. You know, sometimes, you know, we don't conquer the devil, we're just a nuisance, you know. We're not totally committed. Kind of, you know, the, the thing is, Samson was kind of like a half-baked cake. He wasn't totally like he should have been, totally committed. Anyway, well, that's that. And uh, But God used him in his, the last part of his life. God used him in a massive miracle, gave him his strength back right at the right time. Well, anyway, but I want to go from there. When you are totally committed to Christ mm -hmm. and you've made that vow to him that you're, you're dedicated to him, you'll find out something that's very, very important that I want to talk about it today. I may, may talk about it a little more, too. It's called the priestly blessing. Uh, and actually, it's not a priestly blessing. It's a godly blessing. Now, we hear it all the time. The Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and give you peace. Well, let, let, let me read it to you. It's found in um, the sixth chapter of Numbers. And beginning at the 20... Uh, I'm going to begin at the 22nd verse. He said, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his son, saying, this is, the, this is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. This is the way you'll bless the children of Israel. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Now, a lot of times you say, well, the Lord bless you and keep you. Uh, so you go one, two, three, maybe there's six blessings there. No, there's three, basically, as you look at it. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. Uh, I say to Diane, um, I love you and I will be faithful to you. Because of my love for you, I will be faithful to you. God says here, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. So you see, he's a blessing God. God wants to bless you. He wants to bless me. Favor. Uh, his favor and good intentions lavished upon you. Favor. Blessing. His favor and good intentions lavished upon you. You're his child. He loves you. And because of that, because of his love for you, he wants to bless you. He's a blessing God. And because he loves you, he will keep you. In other words, he will guard you. Um, he will guard, he will protect you. Isn't that wonderful? Because of his blessing, he will protect you. He will guard you. He will keep you. He's a blessing God. He loves to bless his people. Psalms 32 talks about how he blesses those that believe. And, and we can go on about the blessing of God. Psalms, uh, uh, Psalms 40, he wants to bless us. And, and in, in Genesis 12, 12 it talks about the fact that it talks to Abraham he said Abraham I'm going to bless you and, I, and I'm going to bless you to the point that you can bless others you see if God is blessing you and he told Abraham he said if those people bless you and believe in you and those he said I will bless them that bless you too so God wants to bless us not to, to create a, us as a bucket just to pour stuff in no he wants to bless us as if you'll read there in Genesis 12, uh, about, I think it's 12, 20. It talks about that God said, I'll bless you so you can be a blessing. Yeah. Not a bucket just to hold it. Yeah. We're not to get all we can, can all we get and sit on the lid. No, we are to be a funnel. We are to be a, a direction where God pours in his blessing and he protects us so we can, we can relax in that blessing, knowing without a shadow of a doubt that he's going to take care of us. And because we're so abundantly blessed, we give to others. Mm -hmm. Because we're blessed, we give to others. Do you want to be free? You want to enjoy? You want to enjoy wisdom? You want to enjoy favor? You want to enjoy walking in humility? You want to enjoy respecting of others? Learn how to bless them. Because you're blessed. You're blessed of God. The creator of the universe says, I'm going to abundantly lavish upon you favor because, of, because you believe in my son, because you've accepted him, because you understand the first blessing, and we're only going to get on that first blessing today. <laughs> we got two more to talk about. So hang in there because you see, we understand we're blessed for purpose. 
What is the purpose? Ah, to enjoy a God that loves us and to be able to be used of that God to bless other people. An instrument of his grace, an instrument of his peace, an instrument of his source. We get to be. Wow, that's exciting. We'll talk about this some more, okay? Alrighty, so I'll see you before long. See you tomorrow. We'll have a good time.